366 days, 366 people. Last year, Steiner Skipner set himself a rather unconventional New Year's resolution, and that was to meet a new person every single day for an entire year. Sounds good, huh? From the fascinating to the awkward and the downright rude, Steiner Skipsness met them all, and he documented it all on his Instagram account, Daily Hello. Steiner joins us now out of New York. Hello! Start. Hello, pleasure <laughs> to meet you guys. Great to see you. Um, talk us through this fabulous idea. Where did it come from? Where did it start? Yeah, so it started off, I was thinking about how we're all so obsessed with our phones. We eat, we walk, we talk, we work out. Everything we do, we're heads down on our phones. And I wanted to get out of my comfort zone and just have more conversations with the people around me. And that led to the idea of what if I did this every single day for an entire year, met someone new. Were you worried about being rejected, that, that fear of rejection? Yeah, I mean, when I first started off, my heart would start pounding. I, I'd think to myself, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? But I just decided, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to commit to this to see what can happen. And I, I, I kept with it and just kept, you know, rejection happened. And when it happened, I moved on. And as the year progressed, uh, it, it got easier to do. What, what's the rule? What, how, what was the rule for you? How did you approach people and when did they become an official statistic for you? What was, was it the length of the conversation or what was it? So, uh, you know, I tried a whole bunch of approaches throughout the year to strike conversation a whole bunch of different ways and what proved to work best for me was just trying to break the ice really quickly. So I would say, excuse me, could I ask you a question? And then I would say, my goal this year is to meet one new person every day this year. Would you be that person? And most people were welcoming to that approach and some people weren't and walked away. But that's, that's what I had the most success with. Mm. How many people thought you were going to hit them up for money? <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure, but I, d I definitely had you know, people looking at me quite strange. Yeah. Because I, I, yeah, I mean, grocery store, walking down the street, you name it. You know, I, I approach people in different situations. <laughs> Are you surprised by how far your message has spread? You know, I went into this not knowing what to expect. People ask me, what did you want to get out of this? And um, it's quite surprising. I mean, the, the outreach and the, the interest globally and messages from all sorts of people has been overwhelming. Well, when Ashton Kutcher starts uh, re retweeting you, that's pretty powerful. Yeah. That's kind of cool, right? Yeah, that was quite a surprise. I was having dinner with my wife, and a friend texts me the picture, and, he, and she, well, she says, have you seen this? And, and I was quite surprised by it. Yeah. Well, I think it hits, a, it hits a chord with people. Take us through some of your most memorable encounters. Like, are you now besties with any of these people? <laughs> I stay in touch with a handful, three to four to five people. Uh, but some of the examples, I, I tried to go for as much diversity as possible, different races and ages. Uh, a, a few stories that stand out. Well, one person I met named Justin, uh, he, was, he was telling stories about hitchhiking throughout Europe and South America. And one instance that really stood out was he was hitchhiking, got picked up by the, the security of the president of Uruguay, and they had a conversation with them and ultimately met the president of Uruguay. I met Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, one of the greatest NBA players of all time. Mm. I met one homeless lady who, after meeting her, asked for a hug, and she gave me the longest, biggest hug I've ever experienced in my life. Uh, I met an astrophysicist who's discovered 50 planets. I met a guy in the Hall of Fame, the Basketball Hall of Fame for my college alma mater. I met wow. another homeless man who, after having a conversation, said an acknowledgement that I exist means a lot. And that was pretty touching to hear. Yeah, that, oh. that's, that's lovely to hear. So clearly uh, this experience has changed many people's lives. Has it changed your life? You know, the, the biggest takeaway for me is that I think in general for everyone, we overly fear rejection. I think it puts handcuffs on us and limits our ability to, to take risks. And, you know, it's important to stretch ourselves and get out of our comfort zone because if we don't, we're really limiting what we're capable of accomplishing and the experiences we're able to have. Oh, wow. Well, such a, a great project. And uh, what, what's next? What are, you, what are you going on to do next now that you've accomplished this? You, you know, that's a great question. A lot of people are asking. I'm still thinking through some ideas, maybe doing something where I explore meeting people in different countries and something along those lines. But nothing's yeah. set yet. So okay. well, we'll great see. Job. Yeah. We love this. Interesting right. human experiment. Yeah. Right. Stana, lovely to talk to you this morning. Thanks, Thanks for taking the time out of New York for us.